So refrigerant 134A is a working fluid in a vapor compression refrigeration cycle. The evaporator temperature is negative 12. So the temperature difference between the fluid in the evaporator and the, this uh, external, we're going to neglect it. It's just negative 12 degrees C. And the saturated vapor enters the turbine. Good. Saturated liquid exits the condenser. Sat lick over here. Saturated liquid at state 3. And it comes out at 34. So um, this is uh, 34 degrees C. The temperature at state 2 is higher than 34 because it's superheated. You can see that on the TS diagram. It's hot. Very, very hot. The mass flow rate is the 5 kilograms per 60 seconds. And ask the same questions. What is the rate of heat transfer? Q dot L M dot times H1 minus H4. True. And then W dot net equal to M dot times H2 minus H1. And notice there's no other subtracting a turbine. It's, it's just the net is what is required to drive the compressor. W dot C. True. And then the coefficient of performance for refrigeration is the pro ratio Q dot L over W dot net or W dot C because they're the same. There's only the power consumed to drive that compressor. If we had the power, if we had a fan uh, for the evaporator and a fan for the condenser, we would could take that into consideration. But this is very simple calculations. Make a table. So the table would have your states. One, two, three, four. Pressure maybe in kilopascal, temperature in degrees C, enthalpy in kilojoules per kilogram, entropy in kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin, and quality. I think that's helpful. So state one now is easier. We can fix that right away. It was negative 12 degrees C, corresponding pressure of 1.85 bar, uh, or 185 kPa. The table has it in bar, does it not? And then the enthalpy. Now, I'm going to use the enthalpy values uh, from the software that you can use. We used it for uh, steam, and you can also evaluate those properties for uh, refrigerant, or you can look them up. But I'm going to give you values that are out of the, um, the Excel software. So 237.6 and 0.19, oops, sorry about that. It's not that, it's this one. 243.29 and 0.93926 with a quality of 1. When it goes to superheated, you have to find it in the table. And you're at what pressure are you going to be at? You're going to be at the saturation pressure corresponding to 34 degrees C. So you're not at 34 degrees C. State 3 is at 34, right? But state 2 is at higher than 34 degrees C. But the pressure corresponds to the saturation pressure at 34. So that's 862 862 and then back down to 185. You have two high pressures, two low pressures. All right. What you do is you find that S.93926. So entropy and pressure fix the state. If you want to put over here, how does it fix the state? Entropy and pressure, or P and S, pressure and entropy fix that state too. Hence, I can go and calculate H, and that's 275.26, and the temperature is um, up there. I didn't calculate it. Let, let it go. All right. 
Now, let's take a look here. What about state three? Well, that's the pressure or the temperature in a saturated liquid, isn't it? And so we are down to at state three, 99.38 for enthalpy and 0.36676 for entropy and its saturated liquid quality is zero. What about four? How do I find four? What's, what's constant? Is S constant? No. Enthalpy. Do a first law analysis around this expansion valve and you find that enthalpy is what's known. So we're, we're down to the low pressure and the enthalpy that fix that state. And it, we find that uh, we are two phase at state four. And so it's H minus HF divided by HFG to calculate the quality. The quality comes in at 0.306, a little over 30% or 30% quality. And then you can, if you want to, you can look up S, but it's not needed but it's going to be larger, and then temperature is negative 12. It's two-phase. We have all of those properties. Have you solved a problem like this already? Yeah? No? Does it resonate? Yes? And then you go ahead and calculate what is for the answer for part A, and you find it's around 12.0 kilowatts. And then for part B, net, it's around 2.66 kilowatts, W dot to drive the compressor. And then the coefficient of performance for the refrigeration, now it's not Carnot, it comes in at 4.50, which, what was our coefficient of performance before? 5.68, so it's lower because of the irreversibilities.